in the news tonight. Foreign Minister Ayman al-Safadi calls on Germany to impose sanctions on Israel. Jordan condemns in the strongest terms Israeli violations in Al-Aqsa Mosque compound. And the 14th Special Operations Forces Exhibition and Conference OFIC 2024 concludes in Aqaba. Good evening. Foreign Minister Ayman al-Safadi said the Israeli government is continuing its aggression on Gaza and exacerbating the humanitarian catastrophe that violates humanitarian and international laws. In a joint press conference with German Foreign Minister Annalena Baerbock in Amman, Safadi said Israel is waging a new war in the West Bank against Palestinian cities and residents. He called on Germany to fulfill its international and humanitarian duty and impose sanctions on Israel. Earlier, Safadi held extensive talks with his German counterpart on the dangerous escalation in the region. The talks dealt with the dangerous escalation in the West Bank, efforts to reach a permanent ceasefire in Gaza, the entry of sufficient and sustainable aid to the enclave. The two, the two ministers also discussed bilateral relations and several issues of common interest. Jordan condemned in the strongest terms the escalation of Israeli violations against Al-Aqsa Mosque compound by enabling the extremist Jewish occupation police to violate the sanctity of the mosque in an unprecedented manner, never witnessed since the occupation of the city of Jerusalem in 1967. In a statement, Minister of Awqaf and Islamic Affairs, Mohammed Khalili, warned of the consequences of preventing most Muslims in Palestine and the world and blocking their access to pray in Al-Aqsa Mosque. The minister added that Israeli authorities guard violations of the extremist Jews and their attempts to make radical changes to Al-Aqsa Mosque from the inside and outside to achieve hidden and declared goals to Judaize the mosque. At least 17 Palestinians have been killed and 56 others wounded in Israeli attacks in the Gaza Strip over the past 24 hours. The health ministry in Gaza said almost 40,880 people have been killed and at least 94,450 others wounded in the besieged enclave since the start of Israel's offensive on October 7th. The second phase of a campaign to vaccinate children in Gaza against polio began today in southern Gaza. Crowds of Palestinians gathered at medical centers in Rafah and Khan Yunis to have their children vaccinated. The UN World Health Organization says 187,000 children in Gaza have been vaccinated for polio with an eventual goal of 640,000. The UN Palestinian Refugee Agency, UNRWA, said yesterday good progress was being made in rolling out the vaccine to children in Gaza, but a permanent ceasefire in the 11-month-old 11, 11 war is needed to ease humanitarian suffering. In the occupied West Bank, the Palestinian Health Ministry reported that at least six Palestinians were killed and three others wounded in the Israeli bombing of a vehicle in Tobas. A Palestinian young man was also injured by occupation gunfire west of Jenin. Israeli soldiers also stormed Tul Karim refugee camp again after briefly withdrawing earlier today. Meanwhile, occupation forces detained at least 16 Palestinians, including a journalist, a girl, and former detainees in the occupied West Bank during the last 24 hours. The 14th Special Operations Forces Exhibition and Conference, SOFEX 2024, concluded in Aqaba today amid a vast local, regional and international participation. The three-day event was held under the theme Cooperation and, Conver and Convergence to Strengthen Global Security. CEO of SOFEX, uh, Ahmad Tawil, said the number of visitors to the exhibition this year amounted to 20,000 compared to 14,000 visitors in 2022. The exhibition, which is organized uh, biennially, is a hub for dialogue among decision makers and stakeholders of defense industries through ministers of defense, chiefs of staff, senior army officers of special operations. That was the news. Thank you for watching. Good night.